Hi everyone and welcome to another workout with me Sarah from London Mums Fitness. So today we're going to be doing a workout that will really help with any diastasis recti. So when we get pregnant and we grow our baby inside our tummy, our abs will come out and they will separate. Now if we, once we've had the baby, and we, and we will have, naturally have a gap in between your abs and this is your diastasis recti. So we want to make sure that we give ourselves enough healing time to let those abs and come back together. And it's so important that you don't rush into having that, in, into it um, coming back together, because then you will get a dome, and that is when a lot more problems can come. So if you do have that problem at all, or you're worried, then definitely ask me, um, drop me a message, or go and see a healthcare professional, or you can see um, lots of women's physios out there that will really help with that. But we can, after we've had, after about six to 12 weeks, once you've had the baby, 12 weeks if you had a C-section, and you're really feeling ready for it, you can start working on core rehabilitation, which is bringing the abs back together. Now, it's certainly not doing any form of crunching, because that is not what we want to do, because that will really bring that dome out, which is what we do not want to do, okay? It's so important. So these are very eight um, simple exercises that you can do to really help bring those abs back together, okay? So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing just warming up the body slightly, nice big circles. Okay, so we've got eight exercises, we're going to be doing 45 seconds each with a 15 second rest in between each one. Okay, so the most important thing here is that you breathe through each exercise, okay, and you listen to your body. So important, you listen to your body. Right, let's come down onto the floor, ready for our first exercise. So we're going to be coming onto our back, and we're having our feet at tabletop position, and we're going to be taking our legs out and down, up and in. So make sure you've got a nice 90 degree bend. Ready? So it's three moves. Out, down, up, and in. Other side. So th this really has three different exercises. So out, down, up, and in. Out, down, up, and in. So really make sure we breathe through all these exercises. And in. Out. So I don't want you to just like, you know, take, kick your legs out and down. It's very, very out. Three stages. Really listening to that body and feeling it at the bottom of your core. One more. And in. Fantastic. Right, next we've got windscreen wipers. So we're having nice wide hands. Knees up at 90 degrees again. And we're dropping our knees either side. Okay, nice and slow. Right, join me when you're ready. So anchoring those hands down to the floor, keeping those shoulders, both shoulder blades on the floor, keeping those knees together, point those toes, and exhale. Inhale, taking the legs up, exhale, taking the legs down, keeping both those shoulders on the floor. Okay, you should feel it at the bottom of your abs here. Nice and slow, really good. 10 seconds to go, keep those knees together. Inhale. One more. And back to centre. Fantastic, right, leg circles. We're keeping our legs up at 90 degrees. We're kicking one leg out, doing two circles, and taking it back, and the other side. Two circles and take it back. Right, join in when you're ready. Two circles and back. Keep the leg out, flex foot and back in. Out, two circles and in. Two circles and in. Keeping that lower back on the floor. Kicking out, really feeling it in that bottom of the abs there and driving it back in. Keeping that leg up at 90 degrees at each time. Back in. 
round. One more. And back in and resting it there. Right, coming on up onto a side crunch. So, one leg's bent, other one's straight, and we're just crunching in either side. So we're on our side that we're crunching. Okay, so out and side. So here we're really working on our side abdominals here. So we're not crunching forward, we're on the side. So inhale, really get that elbow to the knee. So we're not crunching forward, so this is definitely safe. So really help bring those abs back together. 10 seconds to go, doing well. Take it nice and slow, listen to that body of yours. Nearly there, three, two, one, and resting it there, switch sides. Flipping over, so one leg bend underneath, top leg straight, and in five, four, three, two, one. Perfect, crunching in and out. Really good work. Exhale as you drive it in. Fully extend, lengthen everything, and out, in, in, really good work. 15 seconds, nice and slow and controlled. Really good work. Three, two, give me one more and rest it there. Right, coming back onto our back. I'm going to do the in and out legs again. <clears throat> so come onto our back, knees up, and we're going to do the three part motion of out, down, up, and in. Let's go. Down, up, and in. Perfect. Three stages, and in, out, down, up, in, down, up, in. Nice, getting that leg really low to the floor. Lifting it up just before it touches. Nice. Keep up that breathing, never hold your breath. And if we work the core, it's about control. It's not about getting as many reps as we can done and resting it there. Right, so we're going back to our windscreen wipers. So hands up, um, legs up at nice degrees, anchoring your feet down. So this time we're adding a knee hinge, so we're taking it down to one side, top leg out and in. Back to the centre, to the side, out, in, back to the centre. Out, in, back to the centre. Keep those toes pointed, keep those shoulders down, as we turn our legs to the side. Really good work. So we're holding it there just for a sec to really get the, that core activated even more. Fantastic. To the other side. To the centre. Nearly there. Less than 10 seconds. Out, in. Keeping those legs at 90 degrees. Back to the centre and resting it there. Right, final exercise is our leg circles. So keeping the legs at tabletop, 90, 90. Okay, everywhere's 90 degrees. And I'm kicking the leg out. Circle twice and bring it back in. Final exercise. Really feel that core burn. It shows that eight minutes makes a huge difference. And in. Inhale, exhale. In through the nose, exhale through the mouth, and in. Great one for the call, this. Big circles. One more. 
Let's do one more. And resting it there. Absolutely amazing work coming onto your side, pushing yourself up. Really, really good work, honestly. Thank you so much for joining me today. Big stretch up. Take the arms back, just stretch out. Absolutely amazing. So yes, really make sure you don't do any crunches that come forward. Make sure that you've had your um, postpartum check. It's so important that you have your postpartum checks. Even after six to 12 weeks, you may still have a gap. So it is so important. Feel free to drop me a message because I can help you check. And I can also direct you into the right direction for women's physios as well. It's so important to have that mummy MOT. You know, our, our babies are looked after so much. For us as mums, we've gone through the growing and the giving birth and we need to look after ourselves as well to make sure that we heal properly from within, okay? It's so important. Thank you so much for joining me. Any questions, let me know. Hit subscribe to the London Mums Fitness YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook and I'll see you next time.